Good evening. New Orleans is a city known for its adult entertainment venues. While most are on the famed Bourbon Street, others are in commercial areas where they're licensed to operate legally. Well, tonight, one club in the city's crosshairs has been shut down. The question has it been operating as an unlicensed adult club in the middle of the Lower Garden District? <laughs> The city says, and the state fire marshal, shut down Club Raw for having live entertainment at that club, a problem neighbors say they've been pointing out for many, many months. WDSU I team investigative reporter Travers Mackle is live now at 6 with why the city says it took the action it did. Travers. Adriana, the city says based on complaints, pictures and video, and its own inspections with the state fire marshal, temporarily closing this club was necessary and overdue for the many people living in the Lower Garden District. From the outside, the old firehouse on Annunciation Street, across from a well-known apartment complex in the Lower Garden District, looks like any other structure. But it's what's happening inside that's caught the attention of neighboring business owners. What was going on across the street? <laughs> uh, raucous activities, that's for sure. This is video obtained by the WDSUI team from inside the property, which has been operating under the name Club Ra and advertises itself as a nightclub, social club, and cafe. It appears this was an unlicensed strip joint. That's essentially what our complaints dictated. Dr. Jared Munster says Club Ra applied for and was granted a permit to do business as a restaurant last fall, occupying the old firehouse. The building had already been converted into a pair of dining only establishments, neither of which lasted very long. Club Ra hadn't been open long before the complaints started rolling in. It was a scene, I can tell you that. This is the quality of life issue that affects not only the immediate neighbors, but the entire neighborhood surrounding it. So the city investigated, so did the Louisiana Fire Marshal's office, and 10 days ago the property was shut down. Cited by the fire marshal for numerous kitchen violations and limited to a maximum occupancy of just 49 people. They have no right whatsoever to have live entertainment or strip strippers. How does this happen? We have bad actors in the city, unfortunately. But when we get complaints, we do act on those complaints and take them very seriously. We reached out to the owners of Club Ra. Our phone calls were not returned. But the city says when confronted with the allegations, they really had no explanation. Adam Barrett is just glad the city acted. According to the, uh, the ordinances around here, you can't have live entertainment. The owners of Club Ra do not own the property in the 1300 block of Annunciation. It's owned by a Metairie-based LLC. The lawyers for that corporation say their client was unaware of the activity going on at the property until we brought it to their attention, and they'll address the matter immediately with their tenants, the owners of Club Ra. Camille. And Travers, the city says until the club gets into compliance with the state fire marshal, it cannot open as a restaurant.